I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Space Arcade. The game! As opposed to Space Arcade, the uh, illustrated novel or something. Yeah, Space Arcade, the game. Because it's a game on Newgrounds. And there's a level editor, apparently, or something. Okay, I'm in over my head. I have no idea what's going on. Let's just play the normal game. So yeah, you can start with three shields. Easy with the shields is really nice. The amount of money it gives you is pretty much useless. So it's not that... There's not too much of a difference between normal and hard. It's just that with hard, you only get one hit and then you die. With normal, well... In hard, you die in one hit. Let's say it like that. And that's a text message. And so this is basically another shooter with... You know, shoot them up with upgrades. You fly around. You shoot stuff. The plane model very strongly reminds me of something. Um, can't think of quite what. Actually, I think there's like a Star Wars like ship that's like something like this, but it reminds me like I think I've seen that in a game somewhere. But yeah, you just at the end of every level you get you know your score money. And you get a silver star for platinum medal for killing 100% of the enemies. I'm not sure if that's actually possible on all of the levels, because they get kind of crazy. But some of the weapons get kind of crazy too, so we shall see. But yeah, these are this is your upgrade menu. We can't buy anything yet. You need 100 bucks for the first weapon upgrade, which isn't really that significant. You can buy more shields which just lets you take one more hit and the attractor is actually really good brings more it brings money in towards you so it's a bit easier to collect stuff but this is a fairly simpler a fairly simple um, upgrade based shoot em up this level introduces you to holding shift can do a speed up I figured uh, a better way to teach you how to use that Ow, I just took a hit. Yeah, these guys actually start firing at you now, so... Slight bit of danger. But there are some of these enemies... Not these, but some of these actually go fairly quickly. I figured a nicer way to actually teach people... Yeah, there you go. How to use the... Speed up is to give them a few of those right after giving them the prompt of how to use that. So they immediately start to chase things, and that way they actually learn when and how to use the speed up thing. And that is a power-up. And it is freaking crazy weapon laser guns everywhere. Look at that. It's freaking crazy. But yeah, this one... This tutorial is... You know, it's nice. It shows you what... It tells you what a power-up is, then it immediately gives you one. So you can associate that knowledge with your power-up. As if you didn't know what a power-up was, of course. But you know, it shows you what they look like. It shows you what this power-up looks like. The attack up one. I don't know if there actually are any others. It's a fairly simple game. But yeah, you get a gold medal if you kill 85% of the enemies in a level. But not 100%. So, yeah. I'm not sure if it's, 100, it's possible to do 100% on everything. I kind of assume it is. Well, I kind of assume it should be, since it gives you something special for 100%, but... The amounts of enemies get pretty crazy. So, yeah, beyond this point, I'm not going to be getting 100% on much. Like, these guys are sort of a pain in the butt to take out. But part of that is just because my shot, the single laser shot, is out. Really narrow, so it's hard to hit some of these guys. So, another level down. The first few are really short. Uh, one thing I don't care care for... Oh, we got a bronze. I don't care for in this game is that you have to hold down the shoot button. It's one of those shoot 'em up games where there's absolutely no reason you should not be firing. There's only one weapon. There's You should just be firing constantly. I really don't see why you need me to hold down the button. It's not like I need to charge shots or anything or... There are some things I don't want to shoot. 
I just don't care for holding down unnecessary buttons. Or at least have an auto-fire option. Oh, and you every time you get 100 bucks in a level, you get a smart bomb, which clears should clear all the bullets. I haven't actually used one yet. And it has to be $100 in that level. It doesn't matter how much money you have outside the level. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the tri-laser. The second one just seems like a waste of money to me. It's it's significantly wider, but not that significant. Also, I let's die. I didn't read what that said. Watch. There's a high score for each level. Oh, yeah. Um, I do like when games do that. Ow. You know, the high score is by the levels, you know. If you want to set a nice high score, you don't have to go play the whole damn thing in one run run through. Also, that is a lot of enemies. That is a bullet in my face. That is that is my least favorite place to have bullets in. I generally prefer them outside of my body, actually. Truth be told. Truth be told. Also, I forgot to mention this when they were doing the Galaga-style um, swoopy enemies. I think it was on the level called Snakes. That is a lot of money. Um, it'd be neat Lots of shoot 'em up games like this give you a points bonus or other types of bonuses if you kill all enemies in a group. Let's just peek back at level. Is it level 5? Yeah, the Galaga thingies. I think it'd be neat if, you know, when you killed all the enemies in a group, it gave you a little bonus. I don't know how to quit a level, so let's just die. There's no penalty for dying. You actually keep all of the money that you got before you died, too. For a space bar for a smart bomb. It also tells you that every time you get one hundred uh, dollars, so you can actually know when it's you know active. So if you're like me, you're probably not watching. Whoa, the stupid um, the money counter in the top right. And those things that look like giant Tylenol pills. Those are actually like laser thingies. So don't touch them. Do not touch the lasers. They are hot. And they are made of photons. Also, are those, mo are those large things of money that I was just avoiding? Yes, they are. I thought those were like lasers or something. Alright, still short levels. How much money do we got? Alright, upgrade that a bit. Let's get a second shield, just for kicks. Are you a power up? What did that made my shots a bit wider, I guess. Oh, right, these are money. Uh, for some reason, the larger coins make me think that lasers, not coins. It'd be nice if they were more clearly coins, because, you know, I guess they look kind of like the... those wide Jap... or those elongated Japanese coins. Like the one on uh, Meowth's head. What, what was that? What did I just get? Oh, well. But yeah, it doesn't quite look like a coin, especially re re relative to the other one. Money! That was a fun level, because it gave me lots of money. We can almost get spread. Wait, no, we can't. Whatever. I don't upgrade these too much, but... Yeah, we can get... Yeah, The attractor is very good. Some have thick armor. You could say en some enemies. Some enemies have thick armor. But yeah, those fat-looking red thingies that look kind of like cameras or something. Toy cameras. Have a bit thicker armor. Holy crap! That is a lot of... Yeah, see, this is why I don't think killing 100% of the enemies is particularly possible. Because we know that display right there. It continues on with the short levels. Uh, I kind of like that, though. Shielded enemies ahead. Well, we just learned about those. Oh, yeah. These are the different shields. These are the shields that shoot bullets back at you when you shoot them, if they're active. Didn't he call... No, I guess he called it armor before. That... I was gonna say, you should definitely have different names there. These look more like coins. See, these are wide and more clearly coin-shaped. Um, I guess these could give you a reason to not constantly fire, but I'm just gonna constantly fire. See, yeah. Uh, I guess there's a bit of a point for not having that uh, constantly firing. 
Also, the background does not move at all, do you? Whoa! Lasers in the face. Not in the face. What is this planet we're flying by? I, I don't I don't care for it. It seems dangerous and full of alien ships nearby. It's not my favorite quality in a planet, honestly. I generally like planets with water and money, not murder and hellfire. That's a lot of bullets, but they weren't really focused at me at all. Lasers everywhere. Look at that. It's even crazier than the first time we got it. I guess maybe it's a different upgrade. Speaking of different upgrade, we can't purchase a different upgrade, so never mind. Ah, I guess he does do a hold your fire thingy then. Yeah, if there is a reason to hold your fire, that makes sense then. Uh, these are more things that fire at you when you shoot at them. Yeah, those are a classic too. Well, maybe I spoke too soon about auto fire. Oh! Oh, I never noticed that because I never stopped firing. The magnets work over Al. I didn't. Is there a health display? I have not noticed my health at any point. Okay, but uh, back to what I was saying. The um, when you stop firing, the magnets work overtime, so your money gets drawn in really quickly. So that is really nice. Also, if you're in a jam, the smart bombs erase the bullets. I'm pretty sure. That's what they do in every other game ever. I should probably start trying to use one now. Actually, I probably have enough money for you, don't I? Oh yeah. Actually, I should be buying more shields, shouldn't I? Because I'm getting shot. I guess this is an up... Yeah, this is an upgrade. Aha. Why do I keep getting killed here? I guess these things, because they fire a fair amount of shots right at you. You just don't want to be right near them when they fire is like the big thing. It's generally not a good idea to be near things that shoot bullets at you. Just sorry if that's a spoiler. Spoiler alert, do not get shot. Let's get let's get another shield. Then. Shut up. I know when to hold my fire, and that time is never. Except when I'm collecting monies. Money, you know, money is, like, kind of more important than life in this game, actually, since, you know, you keep your money when you die, so, you know, if you get a level like this where you're stuck, um, you can just find, you know, whatever the best level is to get money on and just keep killing stuff, or just keep playing the same level and keep getting money and dying until you can afford better stuff. Also, that watermark in the bottom right, or the bottom left, kind of annoying, because you're plane kind of goes right on it, over it. Couldn't you just leave that? Oh, you can hide it. Okay. Would not have thought to hover over it, because it was just annoying me. Let's see, I can't... Yeah, five... Oh, a thousand. Oh, well. The upgrades are slightly limited. You really just got the three. But... You know, it's still a fun little game. It's nothing too exciting being done with a genre, but it's still a fun, classic little shoot 'em up with sort of rudimentary upgrade system, but it works pretty well. Got some bullet hell style bullets everywhere. We should probably just not shoot those. Let's yeah, let's consider not shooting those in the future, but first let's get a shield. This is where, um, you know, if I start started with the three shields from the easy mode, this would be a bit easier. But really, I'm not sure why it bothers with the easy and hard mode, because it's really, really easy to get up the money to get that upgrade to uh, make up for the quote-unquote loss. 
Easy mode does make it a lot easier, especially from the start, but it takes like two levels to get back the stuff you miss out on if you pick hard mode instead of normal mode. So it's like, who cares? You're not really missing much at all. It's not like you're permanently down health. At least I don't think you are. Maybe you are. I didn't actually check the other difficulty level, so I guess I can't say that. But uh, it didn't seem like a significant difference. Especially since, you know, your max health, you get, what is that? Frickin' eight shields, looks like. So, yeah, the one less hit doesn't make the biggest difference there. But we're finally on a different level, so that is exciting. Ow, and I bump right into a laser. Oh, there is a shield display in the top left. That's really kind of small. It would be nice if all of the um, display, the score display, that's the score display, that's the money, and that's the shield. It'd be nice if they were all in one corner, so I could just look right there. Uh, the level name, honestly, I don't care about, so that can be in a different place. But it would be nice if that was all collected in one place that I could get, just get at a glance all the potentially pertinent information. Cause, you know, if I'm watching my money, I have to look at the top right, and then I have to glance over to see my health. Just a bit annoying. Oh, I thought that was a power-up. It's just an enemy trying to murder me. That happens to be lots of those and very little power-ups. Very few power-ups. Ah, uh, you got some armor on you, huh? Didn't help you very much, did it? No. That was relatively very easy. Also, relatively very little money at all. Hmm. It's sort of weird when, you know, um, one level suddenly you get a lot less money. Because then if I have to replay stuff, I'm just going to skip that level. Yeah, if you're going to leave a lot less enemies and then have them tougher, you really should give them drop more big coins, because... Uh, so far, at least, I haven't seen very many things at all drop the bigger coins. That was very easy also. How much are you? You're expensive. You're very expensive. Oh, can't upgrade much at all. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Not my Batman glass. Lasers. Actually, those are not lasers, because lasers, you know, continuous beam. They're... Um, plasma bolts, or I don't know. Something that makes a ball. Let's just say they're plasma bolts. Or laser, not lasers, energy things. Something that can be a ball. So we could have a ball of photons, but then they would still travel at the speed of light, so, uh, still wouldn't look like a ball, just look like a beam. It moves really fast. I suppose technically it just looks like a ball that's moving really fast, but... Oops. Warning, dexterity required. Apparently if you just tap Z like a moron at the uh, menu screen, it brings you to the next level. It's good, because I constantly hold Z like a moron. So I could... I do kind of like that when you can skip, you can speed forward and uh, just get bring right into the next level. I hate, you know, endless clicking to try and get to the next area of the game. Some games do that very ungracefully. Also, these levels have all been a lot easier than that one I was stuck on. Um, I think some rearranging of levels is in order. It wasn't that unfair, it just, um, difficulty-wise was just really out of place. Oh, and the background did change. I apparently haven't been noticing that. Or maybe they just change every few levels. This is sort of an odd pattern, but I guess it actually does really fit with what's going on in this level. Oh my god. Never stop firing. See, this is what happens when you stop firing. Stuff kills you. Always shoot everything. Until you die. And then you just get a better gun. Except I can't. Then you start killing more stuff. Actually, I'm not sure if... Better gun would even count since I have you, my precious, precious death gun. 
I love you, Death Gun. Never change. You're gonna wanna actually watch how the bullets go in this level. Oh, also, there are those guys that you wanna not hit at certain times. You know, when it's their time of the month, you don't wanna agitate them. Oh, hey, 95%. Just enough to not get platinum. Yeah, I'm not... I doubt I'm gonna be getting platinum on anything but those first two. But, good news. We got the pulse spread. Yeah. Look at that spreading of pulse. Gets me kind of horny. Yeah. You like that pulse, don't you? Anyway, let's not think about that ever again. Lasers. I mean bolts. Whatever I decided to call you. Ah! Everywhere. You're not even lasers. I refuse to be molested by anything less than lasers. I refuse. It's just inappropriate. It's wrong. It's lewd. It's lascivious. It's salacious. It's scandalous. Hey, we got a gold medal. Wait! I could have sworn the cut... The cutoff must be over 85% then. Well, whatever. Alright. Don't let them corner you. How could I let this corner me? Oh god. Okay. Um... Did I fail? I'm kind of cornered. Did I get cornered? Oh. Um. I don't particularly mind being cornered too much to this extent. I mean, I really don't have much of a choice. I guess it just means don't get in the most narrow space that you could. Well, at least I get level gives lots of money. Yeah, once again, getting cornered, kind of the only option here. Also, it's kind of hard to see those laser bolts when I'm shooting, you know, when I'm faced with a ton of enemies and all the money. I think the money stacks, the money is visible over the sh lasers. Can't quite tell if that's entirely the case. I can definitely, huh, I can kind of see both. Anyway, do I have enough money for that? No, I don't. Arg finally hit another actually challenging level. So that's exciting. But you see what I mean? I can barely make out the uh, laser shots through the money stream. It's not a euphemism. Should be, though. Or like, I don't know, some sort of bar name. The money stream. I guess it could be sort of a banker's bar. It also sounds like some sort of, like, sex act. The money stream. Also, it's so fun when enemies are behind you and you can't shoot them. You're just like, hey guys. Uh, bye guys. Ooh, I want that. Wait. How much is that? Oh, that is expensive. Whatever. Barrage. The great wall of giant lasers everywhere in my face. That's the worst wall ever. I hate it. Ow. Whatever. Just die. I also don't know of a quick way to end levels without dying. I do love that you can just tap Z and you're in the next level. It's very nice. Very nice. Also, unfortunately, since these this weapon does not fire very straight... Whoa. This level is a bit trickier because it's hard to do damage to these losers. Alright, we're out of the woods and into the space forest. Not sure if that's better or worse. Also, we got a new background. I'm guessing maybe there's a new background for each row of levels as they're arranged on that thing. Anyway, that's enough Space Arcade. The game, for now. Tune in next time for more games that are Space Arcades. Wait, can I actually launch? I can go straight to level 27? Um, why can I go straight to level 27? Why can I get tons of money by skipping straight to level 27? Gosh darn. That is a lot of money. Was that seriously level 27? Okay, no it wasn't. Um, I should not be playing this though, so let's die. Kill me. Kill me. Okay, next time we stop breaking the level progression and actually go to level 28. I mean 1.